Hello, everyone. I'd like to talk about the sample proportion of sampling, pro uh, sampling proportion, <laughs> sampling distribution. All right. So here is the question. So if 15% of adults in a certain country work from home, what is the probability that fewer than 48 out of a random sample of 400 adults will work from home? So round your answer to the three decimal places. All right, so I checked the answer already. So let us do this one. 50%, uh, so this will be population proportion. So population proportion. So we do know to P, all right? Now, um, we normally use Z score, which is X minus mu over sigma. But in this section, we're gonna use Z equal to uh, P hat minus Z sub, uh, <laughs> What a, <laughs> not smart, right? So mu sub p hat over sigma sub p hat, right? But earlier section, we are using z square x bar minus mu sub x bar over sigma sub x bar. So in the previous video, we did that this one. All right, so, so this section, we are looking at the sample proportion, all right? So what's the formula for sample proportion? Sample proportion, which is P hat, which is X over N, right? So how many sample size? So sample of 400, that is N, then 48 response, right? So this will be X, okay? So this is a 48 out of 400. Let's calculate. So 48 over 400. So this will be 0.12. Now, uh, we should know what's the uh, mu sub p hat. Mu sub p hat, which is p. Then sigma sub p hat, we should know that sigma sub p hat, which is uh, square root p times one minus p over n. Then inside the square root, the p was 15%, which is 0.15, one minus 0.15 over sigma, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I have a habit now. n, n which is 400, <laughs> okay? So let us calculate uh, P one point, I mean, sorry, 0 0.15 times one minus 0 0.15. Then we divide by N, which is a 400. Then we make a um, square root for the answer. So we have this one, which is 0 0.017 uh, A9. So let me write down nine. Okay, A5, sorry, A5, so I want to make it nine. All right, then we're gonna use P hat in the stack crunch, right? So what's the probability of P hat is a fewer than, right? So we will have 0.17, no, wait a minute. So there is a sigma. So P hat, which is 0.12, right? So, so we're gonna use this one. So P, which is 0.15. And then sigma sub P hat, which is 0 0.0179, all right? So we're gonna use a three numbers. P hat, which is 0.12. That's a come from this one, right? Then we are going to use mu sub p hat, which is a p, which is 0.15. Then sigma sub p hat, 
which is uh, we were using the formulas inside the square root of p times one minus p over n, right? So we have 0 0.10179. All right, let's go to the step crunch here. All right, so stick, so uh, not some <laughs> calculator, normal. Yeah, this is a little bit messy, but I wanted to keep the numbers. So just be patient. So stack calculator, normal there, okay? Let's click. All right, and then I'm gonna put in this one here. Look, let me erase a little bit. This will be p hat. And we're going to use a p hat, which is 0 0.12. Let me erase. So before I forget, uh, 0 0.12. Click this one. Oh, there we go. Point one two. All right, mean, which is mu sub p hat. Okay, so mu sub p hat, which is p, which is point one five. Now, standard deviation, which is the sigma sub p hat in this case. So sigma sub p hat, we were using this here, right? Which is 0 0.0179. 0. Oh, there we go. 0 0.0179, yeah. Probably I was using in the classroom, this one, right? All right, now let's compute. So we get this one, so 0 0.0464. So let me see how many decimal did they wanted in the over. So yeah, so they want three decimal places. So we do round up, round down. I did not pay attention, let me see. So three decimal places, right? Um, so four is less than five. Round it down. So we get point zero four six, all right? Okay. I hope this one helps you. Thank you. Bye.